If you only have a 401k, you're not getting the most for retirement. Wait, what? Add a Robinhood IRA on top, then they'll boost it by 3%. You can do that? And if you transfer in any retirement account, you get 3% on top of that. Is there a limit to the match? No limit. Robinhood Gold gets you the biggest contribution match of any IRA on the market. Sign up for Robinhood Gold at Robinhood.com slash boost by April 30th. Subscription fees apply. Investing involves risk. 3% match requires gold for one year from first match. Must keep IRA for five years. Match on transfers subject to additional terms and conditions. Robinhood Financial LLC, member SIPC. Hey, it's Kim Commando today, your daily podcast to keep you up to date with all things digital and beyond. And I'd love to have you be a part of our podcast. You can make an appointment to speak with me. Just head over to commando.com and on the top right, there's a button that says email Kim. Fill that out and that's it. Get ready for the big one. I'm talking about Windows 11. They're set to release this huge update with major changes to the OS. We're talking about new start menu folders, drag and drop new features on the taskbar, and lots of new gestures. Now, here's the deal about Windows 11. I thought this was so fascinating. It's been out for about a year, but as of May of 2022, there's this company called Stat Counter, and they did the research. And what they found is that no one's really running out to go get Windows 11. More people are using Windows 7 and Windows 10 right now. Which reminds me, I was watching an interview, I think it was on NBC with Arnold Schwarzenegger, and the reporter noticed that he was carrying a laptop. So the reporter asked Arnold if he had upgraded to Windows 11. He shook his head and he said, oh, I still love Vista, baby. <laughs> Get it? All right, I'm sorry. Yes, on that happy note, welcome once again to Kim Commando Today. Because tech never stops, we've expanded my successful weekend show about all things digital to weekdays. So you can get Kim Commando Today as a podcast Monday through Friday, wherever you get your podcasts. Just search for Commando with the letter K. And I know you can Google anything, but you can't Google my trusted advice. You have to actually pick up the phone and call me on our T-Mobile Unlimited listener line at one 825 5254 Once again, that's our T-Mobile Unlimited Unlimited listener line at one 825 5254 And let's get started with five things that you need to know about tech. It's happening right now. I want to keep you up to date. And let's start with number one. You are so smart. So very smart. Okay, you probably think that you're good at spotting fake news, right? Well, the truth is, you're probably not. Every minute of every day, listen to this, more than 500 hours of new content is uploaded to YouTube. Okay, every minute... 5,000 videos are being watched on TikTok, and almost a quarter million stories are shared on Instagram every single minute. Now, according to the New York Times, prepared to have your mind blown about this, the average person now consumes the equivalent of 174 full newspapers worth of content each and every day. Wow. I don't know if you've looked at a newspaper lately, but they're not that thick anymore. But still, that's 174 of them. So with such a glut of information that's in front of us, it simply is impossible for the average person to separate what's true from what's false. And they say only about 20 percent are fairly good at it. And even then, they're going to believe so many fake stories. And get this, the latest research shows that 6 percent of people believe absolutely everything that they see or read online. Wow, 6%. Okay, it may sound small, but when you're talking about all of North America and Europe, we're really talking about tens of millions of really, really gullible people. Think about that. Every single thing that they see on the internet, they go, wow, that's true. Mm, frightening. All right, number two, let's talk about the CDC, your cell phone records, because during the height of the pandemic, when almost the entire nation was just told to sit home and watch Netflix, when restaurants, bars, and most retail stores were closed, this is interesting, the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, the CDC, of course, watched your every move. What and how? Well, most of us never consider that our cell phones have a record of every single move that we make. And regardless of the carrier, your phone constantly pings multiple cellular antennas. And so by using simple triangulation, your location is known and tracked 24-7. So cellular carriers retain these location records for how long, nobody's really saying. But it was long enough for a private company by the name of SafeGraph to gather and collate everything and then sell it all to the CDC for $420,000 a year. Hmm. That's right. So, yes, the government through the CDC knows if you stayed in or if you ignored all of their warnings. And, you know, and so many people say that we should have seen the pandemic coming. Of course, hindsight is 2020. All right. 
Number three on our list, Web 3.0. If you want people to start thinking that you are with it and you are totally up to date in tech, start just mentioning Web 3.0. Post it on your social media profile. Throw it around like you invented it, like you own it. But here's the deal. Back in the 1990s, we used Web 1.0. Remember those days? America Online, You've Got Mail, Prodigy, and CompuServe, along with a few sites, helped us all get online. But then the 2000s came when we saw ways that ordinary folks could create the likes of Amazon and Google, Priceline, and they started making serious money. But we as consumers... We lost all control of our privacy. We willingly gave it all up for convenience. With Web 3.0, we're getting it back as we have one account, maybe, where what we do is logged on the blockchain. And get this, we don't have to give away our data for free anymore. The research says that a family of four could make $24,000 a year selling their data. Okay, this all sounds well and good, but it's going to take a lot of changes to get there. I mean, have big tech stopped stealing and selling all of our data? Hmm, yeah, an act of God there. All right, number four on our list, watch out, a new online payment scam is spreading. Because anything that involves transferring money is on scammers and thieves' radar, and now these payment apps are tops. You probably have heard of Zelle. It's an online payment app, and it's used primarily of customers of credit unions. And it's been called one of the best payment apps of 2022. But I want you to be really careful because Zelle customers are the newest targets for scammers claiming to be credit union employees. Yeah, I know. And their goal is to con you out of thousands of dollars. And here's how it's done. Scammers will text or call Zelle customers saying, hey, you know, we're with the credit union. And maybe even if you look down, the phone number says it will be from your credit union, too. They can spoof all that. They tell you that your account has been compromised. Yeah, I know. Then they ask you, here's the key, to reverse a transaction. Now, if you do this, you're actually authorizing a transaction. Now, Zelle says that because you did all this, they're not responsible. The credit union is not responsible. You are. So if you get a phone call like this, just hang up. And if you're worried about it, call the credit union directly. And never reply to text messages either. I mean, let me tell you, I received a text the other day saying that I want $250 cash or VIP tickets to an Elvis tribute night. (laughs) And it was just nuts so because it said press one for the money or two for the show hmm. i saw you laugh at that one i did okay finally number five a free photo search tool that you have to see to believe i mean imagine that out of the trillions of photos on the entire internet you could find images of anyone at absolutely no cost there's this website out there called pim eyes now it was originally designed back in 2017 and it's been significantly updated tremendously updated over the last five years. Now, here's how it works. The software uses AI, artificial intelligence, to perform what's called a reverse image search. You can do those on Google. You know that. So if you have an image of something, maybe it's some woman from Russia who claims that she's in love with you and she wants to move to Chicago to live with you the rest of your life. Well, before you fall for that and start sending her money and plane tickets, supposedly, is that you just take the picture of this beautiful supposed Russian bride and you upload it to Google image search and it'll show you other places where that image has been found. Okay. So that's at a basic level. So here at Pim Eyes, you kind of do the same thing. You upload a photo of the person you're looking for and Pim Eyes will find photos of people who look similar. I mean, very, very similar. It's scary accurate. In a New York Times test, it correctly found faces of people who had never before and seen these photos and some are even wearing like dark sunglasses now pim eyes does not search social media here's the difference it looks for photos posted with news stories online magazine articles blogs that sort of thing but it also goes into the porn sites so as you can see pim eyes can be fun but it can also cause a lot of damage and speaking of photos i saw this this is true i saw a billboard with a photo of a police car the other day i thought it was really clever Uh, It just said, you provide the drinks, we'll provide the chasers. Yeah, they sure do. All right, let's talk about your privacy. Using the Internet without ExpressVPN is like leaving your keys in your car while you run out to the gas station. You're probably going to be fine, but what if you come back and you see someone just driving off with your car? Here's the thing. Your data is super valuable. Hackers can make thousands per person selling all this information on the dark web. And every time you connect to an unencrypted network, maybe it's at a 
cafe, a hotel, airport, any hacker on the same network can gain access to your personal data. That's why I use ExpressVPN. ExpressVPN creates this secure encrypted tunnel between your device and the internet. You just fire up the app, you click one button to get protected. It's super easy to use. And it works on all your devices, your phones, your laptops, your tablets, more, so you can stay secure totally on the go. So secure your online data today by visiting expressvpn.com slash Kim and I got a deal for you. You're going to get an extra three months free on an annual plan. That's expressvpn.com slash Kim. That's expressvpn.com slash Kim. All right, coming up in just a few moments, you know what the number one search site on the internet is? Of course you do. It's Google. What is the number two search site on the entire internet? It's not Bing. It's actually YouTube. So coming up, I have a few YouTube secret hacks that you're going to love and you're going to use time and time again. Hey, we've got the fast way to delete accounts that you no longer use, which is super important because that's how hackers start compromising your passwords. And since travel season is here, we're also going to talk about how you can find your parked car. That's right. You get on a plane, you forget where you get it when you get back to the airport. We're also going to talk about wireless charging. Is it really all it's cracked up to be? And then hackers are now using another ploy to steal from you. Gosh, they just never stop. And of course, we have all of your phone calls here on Kim Commando today. How'd you like to hear about how I saved $456 in just five minutes? I used an app called Rocket Money. Rocket Money is a personal finance app that finds and cancels your unwanted subscriptions, monitors your spending, and helps you lower your bills all in one place. Can you remember all the free trials and all the other random subscriptions that you've signed up for? Of course you don't, and that's what they're banking on. I love that with Rocket Money, I can see all of my subscriptions in one place. Then if I see something I don't want, I just tap to cancel, and I never have to get on the phone with customer service. Rocket Money has over 5 million users and has helped save its members an average of $720 a year, with over 500 million in canceled subscriptions. Stop wasting money on things that you just don't use. Cancel your unwanted subscriptions by going to rocketmoney.com slash Kim. That's rocketmoney.com slash Kim. Rocketmoney.com slash Kim. Hey, our T-Mobile Unlimited listener line is now open at one 825 5254 is the way to join us. And I want to tell you about a special feature over at the website, commando.com, of course. And you've heard me talk about this particular site before, this people search site that Ian, my son, had moved to Los Angeles. He's like, hey, mom, in your early 20s, where did you live in L.A.? What was the name of that street and the house number? I'm like, I knew the street, but I couldn't remember the house number. And then he texts me back. He goes, oh, here it is with a whole Google Street View. He found it by going to FamilyTreeNow.com. If you want to see a website that has all the information about you for free and your relatives, just head over to FamilyTreeNow.com. And these people search sites, they collect and sell all your personal information. I'm talking about your name, your address, your birthday, gender, marital status, property, educational records, court records. I mean, it just goes on and on and on. So every Tuesday at commando.com, we are calling it Opt Out Tuesday because there are over 50 different people search sites. And so far we have the step-by-step instructions because they don't make it easy to remove your personal information at Been Verified and People Finders and U.S. Search. And be sure to subscribe to our breaking news email newsletters because you're going to get these steps in your inbox every Tuesday. So every Tuesday is Opt Out Tuesday at commando.com. If you want to get those newsletters, just go to commando.com slash subscribe. Okay, moments away from some insider secrets to using YouTube a better way, but how about we start this hour with James. Hello there, James. Glad to have you with us today. Hi, Kim. How are you, ma'am? I'm good. Thank you. How can I help you today? Okay. Um, I have a question. Now, unfortunately, um, my family's in a situation where my older brother is, he was diagnosed with diabetes okay. and uh, because of, you know, health problems with his kidneys and liver and all sorts of stuff, he became a double amputee. Oh, wow. And uh, about uh, two months ago or so, unfortunately, he lost eyesight in both of his eyes. Oh, my gosh. Poor guy. Yeah. So for real. And un- unfortunately, he's never been too, too healthy. And now, because he's lost mobility as well as eyesight, he's just at home 
um, you know, to, trying to do things on his own, but unfortunately he can't. And, and probably getting frustrated and depressed and everything too, I imagine. Oh, right? yes. Oh, yes. And, you know, and unfortunately, my, my older brother and I, we, we had a falling out years ago. And, you know, uh, you know, both of my parents have since passed away. And it's just me and my, my two brothers. So, you know, I, I kind of feel responsible for him, sure. you know, and I, I want to make sure that, you know, I can do, you know, even though he hasn't really been too much in the picture, I, I feel for the guy. You know, I love him. He's still my brother. So well, I you know see... what? That says it says a lot about you. It does. I mean, to to oh. I mean, at the end of the day, really, truly, at the end of the day, family is what matters, right? I mean, yes, ma'am. We you yes, can, ma'am, absolutely. You can and your health, and you're really blessed. And I'm sure your parents are looking down on you, saying, "Hey, you know, James, we're happy that you're you're helping him out." I mean, so there's a lot of good stuff going around. Oh, thank you, Kim. I, I really appreciate it. But what, what, what me and my younger brother, what we're trying to do is trying to do something to occupy his mind. And he's always been, you know, very independent. You know, he was into mountain biking and, you know, reading lots of books and all sorts of stuff. And he's trying to get into like listening to podcasts and, and audio books and stuff like that. We're, we're trying to figure out the best avenue to take in order for him to do that, he's getting frustrated because, you know, he'll be listening to a podcast and then he needs to switch something and he can't, can't do it without assistance. Okay. So is it using an iPad? Right, right now, what he uses, he's got an iPhone Okay. and that's, that's what he uses. That's okay. his primary thing. Well, you know, the good so, news is, is that, you know, Apple has done a tremendous job of, um, with voiceover access accessibility settings on their phones. Okay. Have, you, have you looked at any of that? Uh, with me, you know, I'm an Android user. I've always been an Android user. And, and for some reason or another, Apple has always been very foreign to me. So, um, well, I can send you some links. And Apple has, Apple has this whole accessibility site. Okay. Um, you know, in the American Federation for the Blind, they've got tons of links about ebooks and online lessons, and there's uh, websites like um, it's like MacAccessibility.net is one. He needs he needs training. Okay. To, I mean, that's where he needs he needs he needs to know how to use this stuff. Okay. Right. Um, right. So he only has an iPhone. Uh, I believe he's got some sort of tablet. I don't know if he does have, you know, a, an iPad or, you know, some sort of Android tablet. I, I, I you know, that, like I said, I don't spend a lot of time with my brother. In fact, the last time I saw him was maybe about a year and a half ago. Oh, okay. And, right. you know, I correspond with him, you know, via his wife. Okay. Um, so. All right. So he has his wife to help him. Okay. Yeah. So he's not totally alone because that was my concern. Like, oh boy, this poor guy. Um, all right. So let me do this. Let me send. Uh, let me send you some links about how to okay. use uh, voiceover, and I'll send you some links about eBooks and the videos that he can listen to, that will enable him to use his iPhone. The iPhone is an amazing tool for anybody who's visually impaired, and so what we need to do is just to get him up and running on it. And then it sounds like he has the internal fortitude and the desire and also the, the technical acumen to, to kind of run with this at that point. So let me put together some special links for you, James, and I'll send them out to you. All right. Let's talk about YouTube because we're all hanging out there, trying to get things done, learning how to do things, being entertained. And if you see something in a YouTube video that you'd like to share at a particular location in the video, Here's the deal. So you can get a link that takes folks directly to that moment. And here's what you want to do. You have the YouTube video up on your screen. And what you do is you click the share button below the video. Look for a checkbox below the link. And then that will automatically display the time at which you have currently this video have stopped. I mean, you can stick with this time. You can choose a different time. You're going to copy the link and share it however you want to do it. And then whenever somebody views the link, the YouTube video will skip right to that point that you chose. That's super handy.
And speaking of shortcuts, if you're not using the keyboard when you're on your desktop at YouTube, you ought to, because there's so many great things you can do. It's a lot easier than moving the mouse around. Like, for example, if you're watching a video and somebody comes into the room, all you have to do is just press the space bar and that will play and pause the video. If you want to mute the video, just press the letter M. J will move back 10 seconds, L will move forward, and C will toggle the captions on and off. That's most important. Now, if you ever watch a YouTube video, get steps to do something and the guy or gal goes too fast, there's actually a hidden written transcript of every single video uploaded to the site. What you want to do is get to this when you're like, hey, what you want to do is use this when you're getting DIY instructions or steps to getting something done. To see the video's transcript, just open the video in YouTube and then press the three dots or the more option underneath the video and choose transcript from that list. Hey, stay right where you are. We have more of your fantastic phone calls coming up here on Kim Commando Today. How'd you like to hear about how I saved $456 in just five minutes? I used an app called Rocket Money. Rocket Money is a personal finance app that finds and cancels your unwanted subscriptions, monitors your spending, and helps you lower your bills all in one place. Can you remember all the free trials and all the other random subscriptions that you've signed up for? Of course you don't, and that's what they're banking on. I love that with Rocket Money, I can see all of my subscriptions in one place. Then if I see something I don't want, I just tap to cancel, and I never have to get on the phone with customer service. Rocket Money has over 5 million users and has helped save its members an average of $720 a year with over 500 million in canceled subscriptions. Stop wasting money on things that you just don't use. Cancel your unwanted subscriptions by going to rocketmoney.com slash Kim. That's rocketmoney.com slash Kim. Rocketmoney.com slash Kim. Hey, before we go to more tips and more great phone calls, I want to talk a little bit about accounts that you're no longer using. Because the more online accounts you have, the more at risk you are. When there's a data breach and then the hackers start hacking. And with a new breach around every corner, I mean, it does seem like white noise, but your usernames and passwords, they're just not safe. So let's start with step one. Comb through your email inbox and locate the accounts that you're just not using anymore. In addition to that, open your browser's preferences and find the area where your account names and passwords are stored. Take a look and start making a list. And when you're done, it's totally time to get to work. You want to remove all the online accounts that you're no longer using. Now, the big problem is I hear it's like, oh, gosh, Kim, that's easier said than done. Some accounts are just impossible to delete and some sites hide their delete links. Then you have to start digging pretty deep to find them. And this is where this website comes in super handy. It's called justdelete.me. The site has this total directory of links to get rid of hundreds of various accounts. And uh, the site again is justdelete.me. Once again, justdelete.me. Moments away from some tips on how to use Google Maps to find your parked car. I know it's happened to you. I'm sure like you go away for a trip, you come back to the airport, and you're like, oh gosh, where was that car again? But before we get to all of that, uh, back to the phones we go with Mark. Hello there, Mark. Hi, Kim. How are you doing today? I'm fantastic. What's going on? How can I lend a hand? Okay. First of all, it's truly an honor to speak with you. I am not computer savvy, so uh, I was a little surprised that I'd even get a chance to talk to you. Mm -hmm. So I purchased a Dell 3180 Chromebook back in 2019, and I used it mainly for traveling for a couple of months, and then I I put it away because of the pandemic. Now I can... And now I can plan another trip, and when I dusted it off, I noticed that down in the right-hand corner was a message from Google telling me that as of June 2022, my make and model would no longer receive operating and system security updates. So my question to you is, should this Chromebook be thrown in the recycle stack and buy another one or another computer of some type, laptop? Or can I add something to it security-wise to extend the life? I'm very security-oriented, even though I'm not computer-savvy at all. You know what? You don't have to be computer-savvy to be really smart. And so you're smart, right? Because you know that (laughs) there's a lot of scammers and hackers and ways out there. Um, Well, let me Uh tell you you a couple of options, okay, is that uh, Google has an operating system called Chrome Flex, and it's kind okay. of like a, it's a scaled down version of Chrome that they are continuing to update. 
So while this version of Chrome that you have on this Dell uh, Chromebook isn't going to last you any longer, is that what you can do is download this Chrome Flex. It works pretty much the same way. And then you can continue to use this Chromebook. Uh, alternatively, oh, okay. you can buy a new one. And uh, over on our website, we have uh, what we call the laptop finder quiz. And so we're basically ask you some questions and then we recommend the best laptop for you. So let's take the quiz right now. So first of all, what's okay. your budget? Is it under 350 up to 650 up to 1000 or over $1,000? Uh, it's cheap, under All right. 350 because okay. I'm only going to be using this for traveling and okay. maybe going down to the coffee shop or whatever. Okay, okay. so uh, so we said under 350 Just a few questions. Um, okay. do, you want, do you want Windows, Chrome, or anything will do? Anything will do. Uh, uh, I've got Windows on my PCs, which I've always used, and I have Bitdefender Total Security, on my PC. And that was going to be another question. If I get another Chromebook, should I use an antivirus program in addition to my VPN? Uh, well, we'll, well, let's save that. Let's just finish the laptop okay. quiz. Okay. So do you no, want... It doesn't Win matter. Either one it of those would matter. be fine. Okay. So let's go yeah. there. All right. Uh, do you want light and thin or do you want a bigger screen? Uh, I want... Uh, Small. My my Chromebook is eleven point six inches. All right, so we want great yeah, we, for traveling. Yeah. Okay, light and thin. Okay. okay, and then so when we do this, uh, dun da da da, is that we picked for you a Lenovo Chromebook, a two in one. It's right now. It's uh, over on Amazon. It's about two hundred bucks. Okay. Two hundred. Okay. So it uh, has a touch screen. It's two in one. Battery life is ten hours. The screen size is ten inches. It only weighs two pounds. Okay. And it doesn't have a lot of okay. storage, but it's a Chromebook, and it's uh, you know sixty four gigs, mm -hmm. and it's actually oh that's you know, plenty enough. Yeah. So mm -hmm. it's so and this is so when you start looking at really buying a laptop, there's really just some basic questions. And so what we've done mm -hmm. at commando.com is we put our IT geniuses to work, John and Jeremy, and they keep this updated all the time, as to say, you know, based on these answers, which laptop is the one for you? So the one that we selected for you was the Lenovo Chromebook Duet, and we will go ahead and post a link to that um, over inside the Commando community. But or you can go ahead and take the quiz. It's commando.com slash laptop quiz. We'll pop that up for you. All right. Okay. So what was that model number again? It's the, the Lenovo. What was the model? It's a duet, D U E T. And but we'll send duet. you a okay. yeah, we'll send you a direct link to that. But so so anytime oh, okay. you're looking for some some new products or a new laptop rather, is that you know, take the quiz. We also have a router quiz. So if you're ever in the market like, oh, my Wi Fi is dying, I don't know what to do is that by, again, asking maybe five or six questions, we can recommend a, a router replacement. So back to the security okay. question. With Chromebook, the whole idea is that you don't need security because Google will do the security for you. So, uh, okay. so you know, do you want to use a VPN? Yeah, you probably do uh, as far as keeping the operating system and everything like that. Do you want to put in uh, some antivirus software. The one that we recommend is Total AV, and you can get it for 19 bucks a year by going to protectwithkim.com. And so, uh, but I would try, before you buy anything, just go ahead and try that the Chrome Flex on the Dell just to save yourself some money. It's not going to cost you anything. And then if you find yourself that it's not really up to par, it's not up to speed that you want, uh, again, we're going to send you a link to this, uh, this Chromebook that we identified by t just answering a few questions in our laptop quiz over at commando.com. And just a quick reminder, we also have the router quiz if your Wi-Fi ever gets bonky. Mark, thank you so much for your call today. I appreciate you getting through. It used to be a lot harder to figure out, like, what is the best desktop computer? What is the best laptop computer? But I'm telling you, our IT geniuses have just narrowed it right down. So in case you're looking for that laptop, once again, the address is commando.com slash laptop quiz. All right, let's talk about home title lock. Did you read about the Arizona real estate agent who found the home she lived in listed for sale? The problem was she wasn't selling her home. She was the victim of home title fraud. This is a devastating crime. It's happening all over the country. Now, according to the experts at home title lock, the crime is incre incredibly profitable and hard to detect. 
An identity thief simply creates a fake title transfer for your home and then refiles as the new owner. Then they can take out loans in the home or they could even sell it. So here's what I want you to do. Go to HomeTitleLock.com, register your address to see if you're already a victim. Maybe you don't even know it. And when you sign up at HomeTitleLock.com to protect your home, don't forget to let them know that I sent you. That's right, Kim Commando. That's HomeTitleLock.com, HomeTitleLock.com. All right, it's super frustrating after getting off a plane and from vacation. Maybe you went to a concert or sporting event, and you can't remember exactly where you parked your car. Yeah, you sit there and you keep going, hitting the button saying, I think I heard the horn go off. I think I did. All right, you can take a photo of your car and any identifying objects such as the parking lot number or letters. But there's a secret in Google Maps that's even better. And because you're listening to me, Kim Commando, you need to do this. You need to go the extra mile. After you've parked your car, open Google Maps on your phone. If you look in the lower right-hand corner of the map, you see some crosshairs, and then you get a blue dot showing your precise location. When you tap the blue dot, a menu opens at the bottom, and then, ah, oh, yes, this is where the magic comes, save parking. Now, in some parking garages, you can pay for the parking in the app, too. I'm talking about Google Maps. So when you want to find your car, it's in the exact location shown in Google Maps. And if you pay for parking by time, this is also super handy. Set the timer feature so you know exactly how long you've parked there or when you need to put more money in the meter. All right, stay right where you are because we're talking about wireless charging. Is it really better? I know it's super convenient. And then later on this hour... Oh, the hackers are out it again. This time they're using fake QR codes. Does it ever stop? Mm-mm. That's why you need to always listen to me and Kim Commando today. How'd you like to hear about how I saved four hundred and fifty-six dollars in just five minutes? I used an app called Rocket Money. Rocket Money is a personal finance app that finds and cancels your unwanted subscriptions, monitors your spending, and helps you lower your bills all in one place. Can you remember all the free trials and all the other random subscriptions that you've signed up for? Of course you don't, and that's what they're banking on. I love that with Rocket Money, I can see all of my subscriptions in one place. Then if I see something I don't want, I just tap to cancel, and I never have to get on the phone with customer service. Rocket Money has over 5 million users and has helped save its members an average of $720 a year with over 500 million in canceled subscriptions. Stop wasting money on things that you just don't use. Cancel your unwanted subscriptions by going to rocketmoney.com slash Kim. That's rocketmoney.com slash Kim. Rocketmoney.com slash Kim. Hey, since you're listening to me now on WLS, just a quick reminder that you can hear the entire Kim Commando show. That's right, Saturday and Sunday nights, all three hours here on WLS or online at WLSAM.com. And a quick reminder, if you want to get the entire Kim Commando show as a podcast, you can do that over at GetKim.com. Once again, that's GetKim.com. You get three hours commercial free of the Kim Commando show as a webcast. You get to go behind the scenes. It's a heck of a lot of fun. And it's cheap. Just a couple of bucks a month over at GetKim.com. Hey, before we go back to your phone calls, when it comes to charging your phone, your tablet, your watch, your earbuds, and other devices, which is better? Should you plug in your devices to charge them? Or are wireless charges just as good? Well, first of all, about all new devices support wireless charging. It's super convenient. You just lay down your phone, earbuds, watch, or whatever on the wireless charger, and that's it. You don't have to find a cable power supply. But hopefully you're not in a hurry. The biggest downside to using wireless chargers is the extra time it takes to charge the device. It can take anywhere from 30 to 80% longer. That's right, to fully charge the device and using a cable and a plug. Then you also have to buy the wireless charger. Well, most devices include at least a wired cable for you to use. And another thing, it's virtually impossible to use your device while it's sitting on a wireless charger. So sometimes that good old fashioned, old school way is the best way. All right, Ron, you're up next here on Kim Commando Today. Hello there. Welcome. How can I help you today? I was working at a uh, customer's home the other day doing some I do uh, landscape work for her, pulling weeds, basically, and put down weed mat. Okay. And she lives next to a brook with water flowing, and she allows me to place the yard waste down there. And I got to thinking, you know, if I slip down into this, I really don't have a ladder. It's about 15 feet deep. Oh, wow. And I thought, well, you know, and it's not 
it's not all that bad. I could walk for probably 200 feet or so and climb right out. But I thought if I had slipped into something like this and needed help and wasn't needing medical attention, I don't have a way of getting out. So I thought, what about an install on a cell phone where you push a button and it emits an audible sound with lights so that anyone in the area with a cell phone would receive that and then they would have a an automated download on their phone giving them the direction as to where the person is. Um, I understand where you're going with, but that the, the having the app and you hitting a button and then somebody being able to receive that notification unless they had the same app wouldn't be possible. And I don't know about you, but I wouldn't re- want to rely on the kindness of strangers If I was stuck in a ravine 15 feet down and maybe hit my ankle on the way or my arm and now I can't get out. Right. Um, Well, so so there what they tell you, there are these devices that also if uh, if the communications, if you are down someplace in an area and you don't have any cell phone coverage, that they will still work. And they're not very big. They're about the size of the palm, palm of your hand. So you can put them on, okay. a, on a pack or uh, on your backpack, or you can clip one on your belt and things like that. And what it has, and it's really phenomenal technology, Ron, is that it works via satellite technology. And so um, you fall, there's an SOS button, just like you mentioned, but this SOS button goes to a manned 24-7 facility that knows exactly where you are, your longitude and your latitude, and then will contact the nearest uh, authorities, fire, paramedic, whatever it is, in order to get you the assistance that you need. Um, You could also, if you don't feel like you need, you know, a fire truck to help you get out, is that you can also text somebody your coordinates and say, I need help. You could also yeah. allow somebody to track you if you were putting down, a, if you're working in a massive area and you're like, hey, you know, you know, just you know, spot check me every once in a while. Or you could have this device send a notice to your wife or whoever, maybe, uh, you know, every hour that I'm OK. Anyway, it gives you there's all kinds of different options for this. And it's and these gadgets used to cost. Gosh, let me tell you, one, these gadgets used to cost like five thousand dollars. Right. Because, of, oh, yeah. because of you know all their capabilities. Well, now it's a hundred bucks. I mean, that's it, a hundred bucks, and you pay a couple of, a couple of dollars a month, and you don't pay more if you use it. It's still just a, it's still a hundred bucks, and it's a couple of dollars a month. So there's a monthly service fee. Yes, because this way that. Because you're you're gonna you're gonna be relying on the satellite signals, not on cellular signals. So if you're in a rural area yeah. and you don't have any cell service and you need help, what good is a cell phone? Right? Exactly. So it's not going to do you anything. So um, a couple of companies, the company that's been making one of these for a long time, and I just purchased one for a family member, so I know that they're having a sale on their website, Quinky Dinky, this week. Uh, is that it's called the uh, spot satellite and the one that you want is called the gen four and I can give a link to it. Uh, But if you just go to spot satellite gen four used to, it's normally 150 bucks, but it's on sale now for 99. And I got one for a friend of mine who likes to hike by herself and (laughs) which is just not safe. Is it? (laughs) Okay. You know, There's families that are getting lost. Yes, exactly. Let alone one person. And let me tell you, this is the reason why I got you mentioned getting lost, is I hike with her. And we'll be like <laughs> deep in the mountain, and she'll say, oh, I think we're supposed to go left. And I'm like, no, we have to go right. And she's like, are you sure? I mean, this happens. And sometimes I let her say left, and we go around in circles until finally I'm like, Anita, we are not going that way. Okay. Because I love her dearly. I can talk to her that way. So anyway, so um, – so that's that's what I would recommend. You put on your person, okay? Uh, they do okay. have competitors. The competitor is made by a company called Zolio. It, it's roughly double the cost on everything. It does basically the same thing. So 
Um, what I'll do, Ron, is I'll put a link to this over in the Q&A form for you and for everybody else. But the link, and just know, I don't know when that sale is going to be over because, you know, they're not a sponsor or anything like that. I just happened to purchase one uh, for a friend of mine, as I mentioned. And Ron, thank you so much for your call. This is just another example of how technology can totally maybe save a life, change a person's life, if you are smart enough to get it before you actually go into the wilderness or before you actually need it. We've all gotten so used to seeing QR codes at restaurants since the pandemic hit, right? I mean, they're so easy to create for you, me, as well as, yes, hackers and thieves. QR codes were actually invented as a quick way for someone to use their phone to get more information or just to be redirected to a website. You know the drill. You hold your phone camera up to the QR code and that's it. Well, hackers, really, I should say thieves, are using them to steal. For example, Houston, Austin, and San Antonio, QR codes have popped up on city parking meters. And people think that they're paying for parking when they're actually at some scammy website, and then the scam sites are collecting their credit card numbers and their money. So don't fall for it. Also on the rise, QR codes are being used in phishing scams. And one example that I saw, the person was told to scan the QR code to get a new debit card. I know. You got to keep your guard up all the time. And if you need more tips like this and you want to get them every single day, wherever you get your podcasts, make sure you search for Commando. Yeah, that's my real name with a K, of course. And get our daily life hacks and our daily tech updates. Just 60 seconds every single day and you're going to learn a new thing, I promise. And while you're there, make sure that you get Kim Commando today. That's our Monday through Friday podcast because after all, you can never get too many tech smart things to know, right? And don't forget 24-7, you can always find me at my official website. That's commando.com, K-O-M-A-N-D-O.com. Tax day is coming. Oh, no. But if you sign up for Robinhood Gold's IRA with a 3% match, you can get up to $195 for the 2023 tax year. Oh, yeah. Sign up at Robinhood.com slash boost by tax day to get the biggest contribution match on the market. Subscription fees apply. You know you Investing involves risk. 3% match requires gold for one year from first match. Must keep IRA for five years. Robinhood Financial LLC member SIPC.